Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Cooper and welcome back to SIS Film Breakdowns. The next episode features Minnesota wide receiver Rashad Bateman. In 2018, Bateman set school freshman records for receptions and receiving yards. As a sophomore last season, he put up the second most yards in program history and was named the Big Ten Receiver of the Year, a first team All Big Ten performer, and a third team AP All-American. Heading into his junior year, Bateman decided to opt out of the 2020 season and declare for the 2021 NFL Draft. Let's take a look at some plays from his games last season against Purdue, Rutgers, Penn State, and Northwestern to see what he'll bring to the next level. This first play comes from the Purdue game with Bateman lined up in the slot to the left side. He's running a go route here against man coverage. One thing we can see here and we'll notice a little easier the rest of the breakdown is his stance at the line. He has a wide stance which in turn forces him to take a false step on most plays. Something that could prove problematic against longer corners and press coverage. Now at the snap, we see that subtle false step which doesn't allow him to gain any ground, but after that he shows speed to get down the field and then the concentration to haul in a slightly underthrown pass to go up over top of the defender and make the catch. Now on the other view, we get a better look here at Bateman being able to go up over the defender and make an outstanding catch for a huge grab and a huge game. Now let's take a look at the Rutgers game. Bateman is down at the bottom of the screen as the number one to the right side of the formation and this time he's going to run a fade. Now at the snap, we see the quick foot fire and fake to the inside getting the corner to bite ever so slightly before taking an outside release. As the ball approaches, he does a good job here of getting the defender to commit a penalty but then is still able to go up with one hand and make an incredible grab over the defender. Now once we get to the tight copy, we get a really good look of Bateman going up over the defender and making the big time one-handed grab for a solid game. Bateman is a very efficient route runner and receiver and that was evident last season. He hauled in 60 of 98 targets for over 1,200 yards. That equates to 12.4 yards per target which ranked 5th in all of college football last season. He also led the entire country in first down rate by moving the sticks on 88.3% of his receptions. Now let's take a look at some in-breaking routes, first with a dig against Rutgers. Bateman is lined up out wide to the right as the number one, and we're going to slow this one down even more to take a look at how technical he is with his route running. Now at the snap, we again see this false step due to the wide stance. He stems outside to level up the corner before giving a hard plant step and coming back underneath. Bateman does a good job here of slightly stacking the defender, then using his offhand to keep the corner off balance. It's a good precise route at the top from Bateman. Morgan just doesn't see him and has to throw the ball away here. Now let's go back to the Purdue game and look at a similar release from Bateman except this time to run a slant. He's lined up at the bottom of the screen as the solo receiver to the left of the formation. Now at the snap here, he starts off to the outside before giving a hard step to the outside, opening up the corner's hips and coming back underneath to the inside. After getting upfield for three steps, he plants and breaks to the inside on the slant. Bateman is a very smooth and savvy route runner and knows how to set up his routes. After he snatches the ball out of the air, he has the speed and burst to quickly break the angles of the two incoming defenders and gain good yardage here after the catch. Now that we saw Bateman run a slant and dig route, let's take a look at what he did on those routes last season. Combining both, he ran them about 18% of the time, catching 20 of 24 on target passes for 245 yards and one score. He also gained a first down on all 20 of his receptions, which is a pretty incredible feat. Let's take a look at a couple double moves now, starting with the Penn State game. Bateman is lined up at the bottom of the screen as the single receiver to the right and is going to run a post corner. Now after getting off the line, he explodes upfield and then to the post. He does a good job selling the post and after the last step to the post, he's able to get outside quickly with minimal steps. He's then able to make the catch away from his body with good sideline awareness staying inbounds for a solid game. Now from the Purdue game, Bateman is lined up at the top of the screen as the number one on the left side and is going to run a sluggo. Now at the snap and off and after the false step, 
Bateman does a good job running and faking the slant before getting up the field on the double move. We see that he does a good job of using his outside hand to push the DB through to the inside, getting him out of position and allowing Bateman to get vertical quicker. Once he gets vertical, he uses good speed to run away from the defender and catch up to the ball while also showing good concentration to haul in the pass coming over the top for a long touchdown. We just saw a couple of double moves from Bateman. He runs such good routes and sells the initial route so well, which is what makes him so dangerous on these routes. When looking at the numbers, he caught 7 of 8 on-target double moves for 190 yards and 3 touchdowns. His 23.8 yards per target ranks second in the country. Let's finish with a couple of corner routes from the slot for scores. This first one is from the Rutgers game lined up to the left side. Now at the snap, Bateman uses good speed to run directly at the defender's toes and then using a hard plant and speed at the top of the route to separate to the corner. He once again shows good awareness near the sideline to make the catch and stay inbounds for the touchdown. Finally, let's take a look at the Northwestern game. He's lined up as the number one to the left, but has a much shorter split this time to allow him more room to get to the corner. Now as the ball snaps, he explodes off the ball and at about eight yards gives a hard stem to the inside to get the defender to lean just enough inside and allow for more separation. Bateman is able to adjust and shows good high point ability here to go up and get the ball over the defender and is able to get a foot down inbounds for the touchdown. Without the stem inside at the top of the route, the defender likely is able to come over and make a play on the ball here. We won't have a chance to watch Bateman in 2020, but he showed a lot of good things the past two seasons. Though he ran a limited route tree, false steps off the line, and had a tougher time against longer corners, his strong hands, body control, and sideline awareness and concentration should make him a high pick come the 2021 NFL Draft and a top target early on in his NFL career. Make sure to go get the SIS Football Rookie Handbook or register for a free trial on the SIS Data Hub to see all of these stats and more for every player and also tune in each week to the Off the Charts podcast. Thanks for watching SIS Film Breakdowns.